Good morning and welcome to Weekly Insights with John Plassard. According to a very interesting study by Wood Mackenzie, if Russian gas flows to Europe were interrupted now, Europe will have enough gas to last it through the end of this winter and the following summer without having to curtain demand. European gas storage levels will likely be within the five-year range by the end of this winter, thanks to mild weather. More arrivals of liquefied natural gas, LNG, and sustained import from Norway. If Russian flows continue, the European Union, EU, and the UK will end this winter's heating season with 27 billion cubic meters, BCM, of gas in storage, which is a level within the five-year range. Although energy exports are not part of the sanctions against Russia currently, there is a risk that Moscow could stop flows as a countermeasure to intensifying sanctions over the Russian invasion of Ukraine. If Russian flows stop in the middle of March, gas in store will be sufficient for the rest of this winter and summer without demand curtainment. While this winter and the summer could be easier for Europe without Russian gas, some demand curtailments in the 2022-2023 winter will be inevitable. Higher natural gas imports from Norway and Algeria, more LNG, slowing the phase-out of coal and delaying maintenance shutdowns on nuclear power plants could also free up some gas for the power generation sectors, perhaps as much as 13 BCM until the end of October 2022. However, this is a far too short-sighted view of the European energy problem. We will indeed remain dependent for a very long time before an effective energy transition policy is put in place by governments. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Stay safe and keep on winning.